Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Hardcore Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we unlocked the ability to go fight the gym leader. In this episode, we're hopefully gonna go do that. I've been having just some recording issues after recording issues, but let's look at the team. So far, we have Rafiki, who's level 13. Tim and Nature, who knows Leer, Ember, Taunt, and Power Up Punch. Our Nala, who knows Bite, Leer, Charge, and Thundershock. Good old Rufus, who knows Rollout Headbutt, I recently taught him Rock Smash and Defense Curl. Houdini, who has yet to learn any moves. Slipstream, who has Tackle, Wing Attack, Quick Attack, and Double Team. And Pazuzu, who's going to be hanging out with us for a little bit because I have some plans for him. Who knows Zorb, Astonish, Supersonic, and Mean Look. Alright, so <laughs> for some reason I've just been keep losing my audio every time I try something out, so... I saved beforehand with all this work we've done, and there might have been a couple missed gym trainer battles, but we haven't done the gym leader yet, just to prove it. How do I view badges? There we go. Yeah, I haven't fought the gym leader yet. There is, however, some last minute prep that I want to do here, and that's a quick little grind. I don't want to fight a Geodude for this though. Because the level limit is 14. I can use Pokemon that are at 14 in order to fight, like, the gym leader. As long as we reach the level limit and not go above it, this is perfect. We'll be perfectly fine. So, like, Rafiki here, super close to level 14. I want Rafiki to be 14 because something special happens. Should be it, yep. There we go, 14. Because the level 14... What? Rafiki is evolving? Right, that's right. Before we fought the gym leader, I wanted our Rafiki to evolve. His Chimchar will evolve into... Monferno. Monferno's data will be added to the Pokedex. Monferno, the playful Pokemon. To intimidate attackers, it expands the fire on its tail to make it appear itself appear bigger. Mock Punch. Oh, shoot. That's really good. Uh, we're going to get rid of Leer. All right, that is what I wanted to do beforehand. I wanted to get an evolution on screen before we fight the gym leader, because we're going to need Monferno. Because right now, Monferno, when a Pokemon evolves, its base stats go up. Like, look at that, 42 HP. 25 attack, 27 special, 34 speed. This guy is going to be our main member. Now, when you fight the gym leader in a hardcore Nuzlocke challenge, the level limit will go up. So our level limit will be 22 as soon as we start the fight. Right now, I'm still caught at my level limit, so I'm using it to the best of my advantage. But I feel like with Monferno, we have the power needed. So let's just go right in. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock-type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see that toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. All right, we got Rourke. You're challenged by gym leader Rourke. Rourke will start with Geodude, level 12, Rockhead for the ability, with the attack Stealth Rock, Defense Curl, Rollout, with an impish nature. Okay, so this thing likes to set up Stealth Rocks first. So what we're going to do is we're going to Power a Punch. 
So it likes to normally do stealth rocks and then get a defense curl in. What? Okay, that's not ideal. Okay, so the idea with our Monferno here is to basically just keep using Power Punch to get it strong. Next is Onyx, Adamant Nature, sturdy for its ability with Stealth Rock, Rock Throw, and Bind. Let's see what a plus two Power Punch does. We're gonna get hit by a Rock Throw. Oh no, it's gonna set up the Stealth Rocks! Oh! Oh, I think we got this in the bag. Oh, I knew... I, I knew I should have, like, evolved him earlier. Yep. All right. Nala gets level 14. Slipstream gets to level 14 also. Pazuzu, welcome to 11. Think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did the others? Kranidos, level 14. Jolly Nature with Mold Breaker for the ability. Headbutt, Bulldoze, and Leer. I think we're faster. Yep, we're faster. Oh, nice. What? This can't be my buffed up Pokemon. What? Slipstream is evolving. Slipstream has evolved into Star Ravia. Staravia, the starling Pokemon. They fly around forests and fields in search of bug Pokemon, moving together in huge flocks. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't even have a single gym badge. But that's the story. You were strong and I was weak, and that's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me, the gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League whole badge. All right, and our level limit is now level 22. Having that cool badge means you can use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Poketch. You should also take these. TM76 contains the new Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on an opponent that switches into battle. And these stickers I use here take some. We'll get into stickers at some point. Incidentally, a TM you te will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break when you use it, so be certain you want a Pokemon to learn that move. Alright. Awesome job, Rafiki. Awesome, awesome job. So... In my botch recording, <laughs> I already beat the other two gym trainers there. Nothing super cr critical happened. Like, Rufus had a close call, but he, ate, he was fine. Alright, but let's heal up and move on to the next area. We're gonna give Rafiki a quick rest. And let's give Rufus some love. Now, Route 207, we can't go up, because we need a bike. Slope's too slippery, you need a bike to get up. If you don't have a bike, there's a like shop in Eternity. So let's check our map here. Yep, also there's our new TM, Stealth Rock. Great TM for competitive. No, oh, not the adventure guide. Where's my... Oh, Pokatch will have our map. I'm 
pretty sure we got a map. Huh. I thought we had a map. Oh, it's an option. All right, so yep, see, we're here in Orberg City. Our next destination looks like it is going to be for Roma Town. Gosh, that was, uh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Thud. Whoops, Aaron, you got the gym badge, huh? The turn of the city is the next place of a gym that always, it gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go through there without a bike. I made my team battle and tougher them up so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the Eterna Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. But uh, who's got time to count? Oh, Barry, never change. Alright. So we've already had our encounter here. But who doesn't like speed IVs? Does it does the quick claw really need to trigger? That's weird. Hmm. A critical hit. Oh jeez. I believe we can go up here now, though. Yes, with our new Rock Smash hidden move. Okay. I cannot wait till I have excess money to buy repels in areas that we've already been. But let's see what we have up here. I believe this is the same area. Got an item here. TM70 Flash. That's an okay move. Nothing special. Uh, I won't say no to fighting Zubats. So I hope everyone's having a good week so far. Uh, my last few days have been really rough, but I'm not going to get into those that much. We're here to play Pokemon. We're here to have fun. Rufus getting level 14. Everyone's looking good. Do, 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 do. Rock smash here. At least it doesn't do the animation every time. Do you see the slanted rocks on the ground? It feels awesome taking those fast on a bike. We don't have a bike. We need to get a bike. Hello, Zubat. So, you might be wondering why I'm fighting nothing but Zubats. Zubats like to give what is called uh, speed IVs. What IVs are is that every time you defeat a Pokemon, you get a stat point allocation towards a certain stat that adjusts when you level up. The maximum you can have in these stats are 252, and you can max out two stats. The reason I'm getting Zubats is because I want my Pokemon to have more speed, because everything here can benefit from having speed. <laughs> Bag Stardust, that's money. Okay, so we can't go this way. Okay, so it looks like that's all we can do in this floor of the stunned for now. Okay. Hmm. 
う。Might as well just keep fighting the zoo bats. All right. Let's get out of this cave. Nice quick little detour. All right, we're back in now Route 203. We already have an encounter for 203. That was our Houdini. So let's just keep going on. Back into Jubilife. I don't believe there's anything new we can do here yet. I'm going to top off, though. All right, we are progressing, and you can probably hear the creak of my chair there. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, I am super happy I decided to evolve and Chimchar before fighting. What does this clown want? This Pokemon may hold a single item. Some items become effective as soon as they are held by Pokemon. Thanks for the tip. Aha! Ha! Oh, an impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them manners, if you will. Oh, Professor. Must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't get, become collateral damage. Aaron, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. All right, here's our first encounter with Team Galactic. They got stupid haircuts. Zubat and Wormpole. All right, there's an example of a double battle. I can technically hit my partner if I want. I'm not going to do that. Man, I can't wait for, like, to get some more evolutions, because we got a, a bunch coming up. It's really going to change the power curve that we're sitting on, because a lot of our guys need help. Okay. Lower our speed. Oh, really? That's not gonna do much. And we're locked into rollout, so... That's gonna do a lot. <laughs> How is this madness possible? The two of us losing to children? This won't do. Time to retreat. This mission is a failure. Give us that money. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all, we shall leave. What do you mean? We kicked your butt. Uh, so they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it is a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, Aaron, well done. You battle quite capably. Saying you train as a battle side to side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident in my decision to entrust you with a Pokedex. Aaron, did you know that the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too? According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somewhere tied to evolution. I guess that means some unexpected Pokemon must undergo evolution too. So, Aaron, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the Professor. 
Thanks for shoehorning in the main idea of the game. Whoa, what was that just now? That was amazing. Those guys looked awfully scary, but you sure showed them. Whew, that was like a breath of fresh air. Anyways, my name's Bebe, and I work as a system administrator in Hearthstone City, east of here. Now, as thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give you these ball capsules to you. Now you can use the capsule decoration feature from the ball capsule menu. You can customize your own capsule decoration by placing stickers on ball capsules. Put stickers on your favorite Pokeball, Pokemon's Pokeball ball capsule. Ah, that's a mouthful. And it looks pretty when it bursts open. Stickers also give you an edge in Super Contest shows where I live in Hearthome City. So try and collect a bunch. Anyways, see you later. I'm gonna go heal. Gonna be seeing a lot of this, aren't we? <laughs> I love that free health care. Alright, Route 204. We have already gotten an encounter here. But we have yet to go in here. Okay, so Ravaged Path. We can get a new encounter. Now, I don't know if we've caught everything in Ravaged Path yet, but... Dupes is active, so if we don't run into anything new, we could... If we lose someone, for... Like... Forbid. Wait. That was it? Route 204, I believe, is also new? <laughs> We didn't see what's this way, though. Yep, see you, Bat. Oh, no. Rock Tomb. All right, that's a good TM. We can definitely save that for later. Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only have one type, you'll have a hard time against its weak to you. Yes, we are raising several different types of Pokemon, but right now our major weakness is rock and ground. We'll explain those later. Let's have a battle while smelling the aroma of flowers. Okay. Aroma Lady Taylor. Badoo! It's so tiny. Alright, let's use Headbutt. Badoo gets stabbed for this. Holy crap, why is it level 7? Man, the level curves are weird. Thank you, Pazuzu. Even though I lost, I'm not angry because it smells so nice. Well, good for you. Awakening. Okay, real quick. 204. Oh no, this is the same route, so we don't get an encounter here. We don't get an encounter here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> You want a battle? Yeah, you want a battle. So what's your opinion on bug Pokemon? I love bug Pokemon. There's some really strong bug types.
Ah, good old Cricket Tot. Let's just use Rollout. You know, I'm thinking Headbutt probably would have done more because of the stab. <laughs> Thank you, Click Claw, for being not necessary. Wormhole. Bug catcher Brendan. Oh, don't worry, dude. I love bug Pokemon. All right, so you got you see those two trainers there? They're gonna do a double battle. Yeah, I think the two Pokemon we have out are fine. We're strong in our class. We can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? Wow, the confidence on these two. No, oh, they're so cute though. Pachirisu. I don't know if this is anything like the um, that one VGC tournament back. <laughs> uh, I don't think we'll win this one. Uh, let's just team up on one. Pachirisu is an electric type, so Nala's electric type moves aren't going to be great here. However, bite. Oh, that was a crit. Nice. All right, Nala gets to 15. Slipstream also gets to 15. Let's just do the same thing. Now, even though I'm selecting an empty block there, it's going to default to the Pokemon that is out. Uh, there goes that second Pachirisu. Alright, Rufus gets to 15. Houdini gets to 15. We're getting some exciting stuff here. What? Rufus is evolving, finally. Hello, Bibarel. <laughs> Bibarel's data will be added to the Pokedex. Bibarel, the beaver Pokemon. It makes its nest by damming streams with bark and mud. It is known as an indigenous worker. Water gun? Yeah. That's some water gun. Do I need defense curl? Oh, the special attack's kind of weak. Um, we can replace Rock Smash. What? Nala is evolving. Yeah, I think this was all before Rourke. Nala evolved into Luxio. Luxio, the spark Pokemon. Its claws lose electricity with enough ambage to cause opponents to faint. It lives in small groups. Oh, I thought we were going to get one more evolution out of that. Come on, Houdini. All right, let's... Let's use Slipstream for a little bit. Alright, so a lot of our Pokemon evolved, which means a huge power boost. Also, Bullet Seed. Great TM.
And we are in Floroma Town. Got anything interesting? Okay, nope. going to talk to everyone here, see if I can get anything. Talking about honey, we're definitely going to get into that. Okay, so don't talk to these two if you have, well, you can if you have a save of Pokemon Sword or Shield and, or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu. They'll respectively give you a Mew and a Jirachi. Now, while this would break this Nuzlocke, because, I mean, heck, they're two mythical Pokemon, I'm not going to take them, just because, like, that just makes the game way too easy. We are getting close to time. So we're going to stop right here and call this an episode. I want to thank you for joining me in this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Hardcore Nuzlocke. In the next one, we're going to explore Floroma Town, or Floroma Town, and see what else that we can gather here. Until then, see you next time.